Hello everybody, as you can tell from my surroundings, I am back at home for Christmas and back at you with another hack. Today I'm going to give you a DIY last minute present idea. I'll definitely be using this one and I think it will come very much in handy for you guys out there. Literally anybody would love this gift and I can't wait to share it with you. So I hope you enjoy it and I'd love to see if you guys try it out so do let me know. I've literally got three minutes to show you this so enjoy. So for this tutorial what you'll need is a teacup, some tea lights, a ball of string and something to melt your wax in. So we're going to start off with a chopping board and a knife and you're going to grab your tea lights. These are extremely large tea lights um, but these are just the only ones I had in. Um, you can use normal size ones or excess wax that you've had off a candle that's already burnt out. Then I'm going to grab two bowls and we're going to start cutting up our tea lights. So the one bowl will be the chopped up wax and the other one will be all the plastic or the metal from around the tea light. You may be wondering what we're making, but you'll soon see. Then we're going to pop our wax into our old saucepan. I'm going to stress old. I obviously will not be cooking my vegetables in this one. I found it in the shed. <laughs> then head over to your hob and be careful with this bit, health and safety and all. Pop your saucepan on and just wait for the wax to melt. And while we're waiting, we'll make our wick. So we're going to cut a piece of string to size, grab one of the bottoms from one of the tea lights and just sort of tie this string around it so it's secure. Then we're going to head over to the wax and dip the entire of this string into the wax. It will be clear why in a minute. So then we're going to pop the metal bit on the bottom of the cup. Um, I think you can probably tell what we're making now. We're making a teacup candle. But grab a pencil and wrap the rest of the string around that and rest it on the top. This is so that when we pour the wax in, the wick will be straight. Pouring, pouring, pouring. And it looks like a compromising liquid. But, you know, we're going to go with it. <laughs> then pop it in the fridge. Um, mine took about an hour, but just keep checking on it until it looks something like this. Then you want to take it out of the fridge and then we're going to head back over and just grab a pair of scissors and chop your wick to size. And there you have your own vintage DIY teacup candle. A perfect last minute gift. Hope you enjoyed.